in this episode, I do a strange dance, push a doorless truck, and film people screaming. All right, welcome. We're gonna go on a little obstacle course today. I brought some of my friends, as you can see, and there's no sense in standing on ceremony. Let's start the show. Get in. For this first obstacle, we'll attempt to ascend about a six foot tall, 45 degree incline that is all dirt and all slippery. Turn the traction control off. There it is, going into four low. Here we go. A second before we get too much further let's talk about what we're working with i'm currently driving a 2019 jeep compass trailhawk i got a four inch lift a little bit larger tires and a can in air intake that helps a little bit matt what are you doing you you oh hey hi Kinda so this this pickup actually has so one wheel that spins oh, and now i'm so gonna now make I can hang with the boys grip. what are these these are called <laughs> traction <laughs> zip ties <laughs> <laughs> Studs, baby. So Matt rolled up in his 1995 Ford Ranger STX. It is two wheel drive, but it does have a four liter V6 engine. And he does have those zip ties on. But most importantly, so he can feel that cool breeze go through his hair, he did a little weight reduction for us by removing his doors. So after that eventful effort, the rest of the crew had little problems getting up the dirt ledge. And now we move on to obstacle two, the electrical line cutout. One of my favorites because every time it rains, it changes, it becomes a different path. And this should be a fun one. First up on this one is Kristen in her 2022 Ford Bronco Wild Track. This thing's got 35 inch tires, goat mode, and weight reduction because her doors are off too. You want to be right, right here. Go this way a little bit, come this way. Stay straight. Yep, stay straight. Jake's, I said up next is Jake's Ford F-250 High Boy. This has been supplanted with a 5.9 liter 12 valve Cummins engine that you can hear from two counties away. <laughs>
baby, made it. After that great success, our convoy of misfit toys heads down the trail to obstacle number three. This is our Texas Sandy Loam washout. It dips down about six feet and pops back up, and it'll send our vehicles off camber as we try to exit the washout. I've only done this in a Polaris. I've never done it in a vehicle. going to be rather interesting. is actually um, uh, German for cheese. Last words? A little more daunting than it looks like. Wes is driving his 2006 Lexus LX470. It's kind of like a Lexus LS430 if you were to make it a fancy Toyota Land Cruiser. Have you off roaded before? First time. Oh. <laughs> Although she's driving already like a seasoned vet, Lily is brand new to off roading in her 1994 Mitsubishi Montero, which is bone stock. second oldest car here. It should be the oldest, but Jake brought his 68 Ford. 
Not only is Jack driving the second oldest vehicle, he's also driving the second Mitsubishi in his 1990 Montero. It's still as spry and nimble as ever. And after three successfully completed obstacles, well, except for the range, of course, uh, it did do the first one, though. We all gather up and head for the fourth and final test of the day. I might, I, I might get it, I just gotta get out of the way. <laughs> you showed up in the nick of time. <laughs> Ranger Edge? <laughs> Don't scratch the paint! Final obstacle will attempt to ascend the highest point on the property. It's very loose dirt, got a few rocks, and it's got a big hole in the middle of it, so we'll see if we can avoid that. Going up the last obstacle, I'm sweating like a dog, and we're gonna head up this hill and call it a day. because I made it up with four-wheel drive. This one is not four-wheel drive, as you can tell. But he's given it everything it has. It's got a four-liter. Ah! Ah! I mean, it's, it, it can go fast, but it just can't go fast in the dirt up a hill. He's letting off a little bit of a, of a side. <laughs> oh. Good job, one more. Is that it? Easy. Hey, you're done. Any further? All right. Six 
success, Chris. Six, great success. Hey! Oh. Hey! I'm so mad. Thank everyone for coming. Let's do it again some time. Let's go to Moab. Yeah. Until next time, every time. Yeah.